थी राइट एलिमेंट्स इन टू डायमेंशन ग्रिड द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट ऑफ दिस ग्रिड इज फॉर आर इक्वल टू दिस इज लाइक आर विल गो लाइक दिस आर इक्वल टू जीरो आर इक्वल टू वन आर इक्वल टू टू द वैल्यूज ऑफ आर विल चेंज लाइक दिस एंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एस विल चेंज इन कॉलम लाइक एस इक्वल टू जीरो कॉलम एस इक्वल टू वन कॉलम टू कॉलम थ्री कॉलम गोज ऑन द फर्स्ट टर्म इज वन आर इक्वल टू जीरो एस इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज जीरो प्लस जीरो इन टू सी नॉट सी नॉट दिस इज जीरो प्लस सॉरी वन प्लस जीरो चेंज ओनली रोल नंबर एस इज जीरो वन प्लस जीरो इन टू सी वन सी जीरो सी टू सी जीरो टू प्लस जीरो राइट एंड वेन आई राइट एलिमेंट्स इन फर्स्ट कॉलम एस इक्वल टू वन इट इज रो नंबर इज जीरो कॉलम नंबर इज वन जीरो प्लस वन सी नॉट सी वन वन प्लस वन सी वन सी वन कॉलम इज सेम एस इज सेम यू कैन सी राइट सो दिस इज दिस विल बी दिस विल रिमेन सेम इन ऑल द एंट्रीज सो टू प्लस वन सी टू सी वन गोज ऑन राइट नाउ वॉट वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड is like because you can say r is less than s so when you are changing deciding s s should always be more than r right so if i this will be the diagonal of this grid and above the diagonal r is less than s for example in this case s equal to 0 r equal to 1 so we have to include this element we cannot include this element because r and s are equal along the diagonal r equal to s this is the area when elements will come for which r is more than s this is the area where elements will come where r is less than s right let us see this if i take s equals to 2 if i take s equals to 2 that is the second column s equal to 2 column uh, s equal to 2 column so in this case r is 0 i have will write element where r is 0 and s it is 2 0 plus 2 c not c2 r equal to 1 1 plus 2 c1 c2 on diagonal line we have 2 plus 2 that is r equal to s c2 c2 now we don't have to include r equal to s case r is less than s so we have to take this case and take this case so if you analyze the element whose sum up whose sum we are supposed to find are those which are above this diagonal line and another thing you have to you can observe is Like there is a symmetry about the diagonal line. This element is same as this element because of symmetry in R and S. Because of symmetry in R and S, so whether R is greater than S or S is, so this is the case where R is less than S, R is more than S. And as a, as there is symmetry in R and S, these el corresponding elements along the diagonal line are equal. So this equal to this, this equal to this goes on. So it means if we have to find sum of the diagonal, so it means the total. Some of the elements in grid, we have this logic. Sum of elements in grid, total sum of elements in grid, equals to sum of elements above the diagonal line plus sum of elements below. the diagonal line plus sum of elements along the diagonal line right and we have just seen the sum of the elements above the diagonal line is same as sum of the elements below the diagonal line so if i assume this x this is also x and, and we are supposed to find x right so so and and sum of all the elements along the diagonal line this is interesting see sum of the all the elements means we have to sum up for all values of r and we have to sum up these kind of elements for all values of r and for all values of s so so this this becomes this this thing becomes sum for all values of r and sum for s or values of s of r plus s cr 
cs right so this is the ine question number 21 th that we discuss in the starting of starting of this equal to 2x plus sum of all the elements along the diagonal line and along the diagonal along the diagonal means we have to just cover linear thing these are some of these elements so you can see r equal to s along the diagonal line we have to replace r equal to s so we just have to replace r r equal to s or s equal to r so sum is taking r only r equal to 0 to n and replace r equal to s so 2r cr square now so so x equal to this the answer to the answer we got in previous part n into 2 to the part 2n minus sum of elements along the diagonal line you know this is a formula summation r cr square n into 2n minus 1 cn minus 1 divided by 2 right and that is uh, this is uh, I think a choice yes a choice and, and uh, we'll just uh, see one more thing if I change a sign from r less than s to r less than equals to s it means we have to sum up these elements till r is equal to s so we have to include these elements also in the sum means we have to include diagonal also in the sum so uh, so we f this is like x is only the sum of the elements above the diagonal line right so we'll have to add the sum of the elements or we can just change it here this time we have to uh, find x so we see we this is the contribution of the diagonal line right so what we can do here we can add sum of elements if I take this as y we have to find x plus y so sum of elements along the diagonal line that is I am adding y to this side so I'll add y to this side so this becomes total sum equals to total sum plus y plus y equals to twice of x plus y we are supposed to find x plus y that is sum of elements above and along above and along the diagonal is equal to half of this this is total sum plus y elements along the diagonal line that is summation r c r square r varies from 0 to n so in fact you can remember this general formula when you have to include r equal to s then total sum plus contribution along the diagonal line divided by 2 if you don't have to include then you can remember this total sum minus contribution of elements along the diagonal divided by 2 so only difference of sign is there if diagonal is not to be included then there is a minus sign if we have to include diagonal then there is plus sign right 